as William already said, um, Academy wouldn't be possible without our sponsors. Um, and they have a few things for us to say. Um, and we are going to start with Pipro. Give Thomas a hand. Hello, people. So you know me from past academies, I think, or Renda, and it's the first time in my life that I work for a company that has nothing to do with KD or Qt. And they were kind, and I asked money for academy, and they lend the money for academy, so that's good. Uh, we work for banking systems, we work with electronic money and credit cards. So it's not much fancy, but it's a fun company to work on, and we are hiring C++ developers. If you guys want something, and we also have some gifts for Academy, this new book on programming for Qt 1.4 and Windows 95, <laughs> if anyone wants. And this in Deutsch, programming for KD 1.1. Also, some ducks, and I have no idea how to call this in English. Flower pots? No, flower pots is very... Watering cans, thank you. And ducks. So if anyone want a duck or a watering pot or a job, talk to me. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. And the next one is Pluto Systems. Can all my colleagues please stand up? <laughs> Technically. <laughs> all right, these cool guys are my colleagues. Um, if you have anything Pluto Systems related, talk to me or them, otherwise, Give us all a hand because we're doing lots, lots of cool KDE work because we love KDE. Indeed, indeed. All right, and then we have Susan. So uh, I'm Douglas, and I'm the PR expert for OpenSUSE. Uh, and also, we have jobs and a little gift for for KDE. Um, one thing I do want to mention is uh, around October there's going to be a Linux magazine um, issue and it's going to be getting started with Linux on 42.3 and of course the default being KDE um, you'll get a lot of publicity on that so I wanted to share that with you and that'll be coming out and please you know newcomers uh, maybe introduce them to that magazine and bring them on board in the open source world. So we're hiring as well. So if you need a job, come see us. Thank you. And then we have next slot, <laughs> which is Thomas with his other hand. <laughs> Hello, people. I think you know me from past academies and run the sessions. <laughs> Uh, it's the second time that I'm working for a company that has nothing to do with Qt or KD Atlet. Well, that one started as a KD project, actually. So um, I think we know that. Uh, it's, it was on cloud, and then something happened and became a next cloud for some reason. And it, we are currently the second biggest open source cloud agent just behind on cloud that we are surpassing. So basically, we are the first and the second biggest ones. Thank you. And then we have Reddit. Where is Luigi? So thank you. You may know me for other things not related to um, uh, in, in KD, not completely related to what I do in, in Red Hat, but um, even if we don't do so much uh, for KDE, still we have some contributors and open source is part of the 
core of the company, so this is still important for us. If you have any question about the company, you, you know where to find me. Thank you. Thank you. And then we get to Kato. Thank you. Hello, uh, so most of you probably know me, so I work for KDAP, so we are mercenaries doing cute stuff for customers. Uh, quite a few of us are coming from the KT community, we remember where we come from, so that's basically why we support this conference. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah. Thanks for having me here. I'm Frederik Blathorn, have been with KDE for a while and have by now been with the Qt company for seven years. Uh, we do Qt, I hope you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, different names, whatever, and I have an outdated name on here, so censor that. And the logo is also wrong, uh, so I should just go back to the KDE t-shirt, which has an outdated KDE logo. Now, anyway, um, so, uh, Qt is fun, working on Qt is fun, so do consider joining us in, well, Ulu, but more likely uh, Oslo or Berlin. Oslo is a great place to be in, it's also not as hot as here. Um, yeah, we do love KDE. KDE comes up a lot in discussions that you don't necessarily see. Uh, KDE keeps us honest, KDE keeps Many of us motivated, we do run KD on our desktops, and so a huge thank you to uh, all of you and KD in general. Thanks from the Qt company. Hello, I'm Mirko, and I'm glad to be here at this academy. Does everybody know what the Open Invention Network is? Who, who knows? Who does not? Okay, so the Open Invention Network is a defensive patent pool. I know this is totally exciting, right? The, uh, the mission that we have is to protect Linux and generally open source from uh, any kind of patent litigation. We have seen in the past how badly this can go wrong, and um, we're doing our best to prevent this from happening to our space. Um, many companies here in the room are part of our network. Um, if your company is not part of a network, I would like you to encourage your company to look at it, review it, and join us. And um, other than that, please keep on hacking. Produce lots of very cool free software, and uh, see you next year. <laughs>